Welcome back in at a 611 right now. A retired police chief from our area is in jail this morning, charged with setting nearly a dozen fires, and he's also charged with attempted murder in some of those cases. WMR 2 News Mark Roper is outside the Howard County Police Department. Mark, this is a bombshell investigation, and police are going to put out some more details later today. What do we know so far? Good morning, Christian. Well, his name is David Crawford, and he served as the police chief for the city of Laurel for the years 2006 until he resigned in 2010. And it was at that point that police say he had a vendetta against a list of people who he targeted. Now, take a look at this video, which police say shows the former police chief dousing the home of the man who succeeded him on the force and then setting the house on fire. That happened in 2019. But police say this is just one of nearly a dozen fires set by Crawford starting back in 2011. Crawford is now charged with 12 counts of attempted murder and 11 counts of arson. Police say they found a target list that connects him to a dozen other fires. Fires police say involve Crawford's former officers, his doctors, and even members of his own family. Police say former Laurel Police Chief Rich McLaughlin not only replaced Crawford on the job, he's also one of his victims. To get up at 3.30 in the morning because my dog woke me up, to go outside to find my house engulfed and have to come in and wake my family and get them out of the house, it, it's just, it, it knocked me to my knees. This is somebody I worked for, that I respected. Now this map shows how far and why this investigation covers 11 fires over a period of 10 years in four different counties. Five of the three fires were in Howard County, three in Montgomery County, two in Prince George's County, and one in Frederick County. Crawford is also a suspect in another fire, which happened as recent as this week. Crawford is being held without bond at the Howard County Detention Center. He has a bond review set for this morning. Meanwhile, there's a news conference scheduled here in Howard County this afternoon with police and fire officials from four different counties. And we're expected to learn more about the case, as well as if Crawford is involved in any other fires that may have taken place. We're live in Ellicott City. Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.